This is a video for Scoundrel, and this is how to get Talia's fabulous embark. So first of all, you're going to need Talia's fabulous embark world generation. It's in this text document here. Let's see. We'll just took that over there. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is the folder where you keep your dwarf fortress stuff. Let's see, I keep mine here in my Dwarfs folder. Alright, open up the Dwarf Fortress 0.47.04 folder. And then go to Data. Then go to Init. And in Init you'll find worldgeneration.txt. Okay. We'll have that one and that one. Scroll right down to the very bottom and then take this, copy that, leave a space and then paste it in. So you should have a space here and then it'll start with title I last the. Uh, make sure you save it. I'm not going to because I've already got it in there once. So don't save, but you do. You save it. Okay. Right. Now start up the LMP. Okay. You're going to want to go to design new world with advanced parameters. Enter. Escape. Uh, your list might not look this long, but you should have this one. Alastha. So arrow keys down to Alastha and press enter. All right, now we're going to let this run and then I'll be straight back. Okay, I've paused it around about the year 150. Uh, we want to go down to the far southwest corner. There we go. And um, from the very bottom, the very bottom southwest corner, you want to go up, it's 40 up, and then it's 19 across. And you'll see here there's a volcano. It's just across from a pair of mountains. There we are. Now looking at it at the moment, it's relatively quiet around this area. Uh, there is a tower there. Uh, every time I've generated this world, it comes out a little bit different. There's a tower there and a tower there. If we run it on a little bit longer, we might get a tower a bit closer. Um, well, yeah, let's just see what happens. We'll just continue it a bit further. So see for continue. If the map jumps away from your view, you can just pause it and move it back again. Where's our volcano? There it is. And see if it continue. Okay, I've stopped around about the year 250-ish. Uh, the In this particular generation, the evil is spreading down. We're going to have to use quite a large embark area, so don't really want it to be reanimating because that wouldn't do much for the FPS. So let's use it there. It looks relatively exciting. So the younger the world, the less nearby enemies you're going to have. The older the world, the more evil you're likely to have. But this is uh, this is at the whim of the gods of the RNG. And if you find you're getting up to year 250 and it looks too peaceful for you, just abort with A and do all that again. And yeah, just keep on going till you get the sort of number of towers that you fancy having in your vicinity. All right, but yes, we're going to use this one. So you. And enter to accept. Right, start playing. Ah, uh, Dwarf Fortress. All 
and on the 15th of granite here we go okay so let's head back down to that volcano in the southwest uh, if we bring it right down to the southwest corner and let's see so there's the volcano that we're looking for there let's go up to that Right, we're going to want the volcano in the southeast corner so we can move over by one. And then we're going to want this river junction here in the southwest corner. So let's expand. So that's shift, shift K. You're going to need to add two and then move it over a little. There we go. So what you should see here is two vertical rivers and the volcano. And then ideally you're going to want to expand at least one to the north. And if we have a look at the biomes, this biome here the f2 biome has got some nice stuff in it so the more you think you can expand into that biome the better feel free to have a look around and see who your enemies are none of those towers are enemies of ours they're theoretically out of range but you know towers are never really that much out of range Pick the civilization that you want to be part of. Looking over here at which ones we're getting, I'd recommend going for one that's closer to you. The Gleeful Ink looks like a good one on this map. It's close to you and it's relatively sizable. And then when you finish poking around, embark. <laughs> 